For the past several years, al Alaki has been the more dangerous even than Osama bin Laden had been. Congressman King actually is on the phone right now. He joins us live. Congressman King, tell us, how important is this kill? This is absolutely vital. Uh, earlier this year, while bin Laden was still alive, the head of the National Counterterrorism Center, Mike Leiter, testified before the Homeland Security Committee that uh, Awaki was significantly more dangerous than bin Laden, that he had become the leading terrorist in the world, that he was the greatest threat to our country, the main reason being he was American, he understood American life, American idiom. He's really been involved one way or the other since September 11th, and he was actively recruiting. You mentioned the Christmas Day bombing, the Fort Hood attacks. There have been a series of arrests around the country, including just last year in New Jersey, of people linked to uh, Awaki. He was also... Uh, attempting to link up, uh, link up with al-Shabaab in Somalia. So he was emerging as uh, uh, clearly in the al-Qaeda world as one of their top leaders. Uh, he was actually uh, technically not even the head of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, but he was their most dynamic leader. And I can tell you that U.S. intelligence officials were most, most concerned about Awaki. In fact, uh, my committee, we had a hearing scheduled for later next month on the extent of the uh, threat from Awaki. You've been briefed um, for some time now about efforts to get him. Uh, you are the Republican chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee. I assume you will pr likely be briefed again on details of this attack later on today, perhaps sometime. Are you assuming this was a drone strike? I, I'm, I'm certainly assuming that U.S. intelligence was involved. It was either a drone attack or a bomb attack. Uh, my understanding it was a three or four o'clock convoy. And you know, we almost got him several times before. We've been very aggressive in Yemen. I give President Obama uh, tremendous credit on this. He signed the order basically saying get Awaki dead or alive, whether or not he was an American citizen. Even though he was an American citizen still, uh, he allowed our people to target him. It was the right decision to make. And it's, again, a significant victory for us. And <clears throat> all I would urge is, and I'm sure the administration will do it, is to keep the pressure on before al-Qaeda and any of its elements get the chance to reconstitute themselves. Yeah, we were, we were looking at the FBI most wanted list, and there are plenty of people still on that list. Who's the next target? I mean, who should we, who should we be worried about now? Well, obviously, we're going after Zawahiri. Uh, he's, uh, you know, the number one man in al-Qaeda central. Uh, but there's any number of others out there, you know, uh, uh, names that aren't always highlighted, uh, top tier, second tier. And uh, again, even though these people are killed, al-Qaeda is still a threat. Having said that, the more we can uh, diminish them, the more we can keep them on defense, the more we can keep them in hiding, the harder it is for them to uh, uh, reconstitute themselves. At the same time, because of the charismatic following that Alaki had in this country, we have to be very much on our guard against the revenge killing right now, because they will definitely want to avenge this. Yeah, he was a good recruiting tool for al-Qaeda and for extremism, but there are plenty of operational people out there making bombs and teaching people how to make bombs right now, right? Oh, yeah, this, um, this uh, threat has metastasized. It's no longer just operating out of Af Afghanistan. Alaki was an example of this. But no, there's any other, number of other operatives all over the world, including people in this country uh, who al-Qaeda has attempted to recruit. So, no, it's still a massive threat to our country, but it's been diminished. It, can, it began during the Bush administration. It's continued in the Obama administration of keeping them on defense, going after them, killing them whenever we can. Congressman Peter King, thank you for joining us live. We appreciate it. Thank you. Now let's bring in Barbara Starr for us live this morning at the Pentagon. Barbara, are you learning any more from your sources there at the Pentagon about um, the specifics of this particular attack? Well, you know, what's very interesting this morning, this is right now.